the uh, pump in our front yard fountain went bad and no way to get to it. It happens to be inside the bottom tier in this column here. Instead of risking to crack it by taking apart each tier, I decided to cut out an opening to get to it. As a matter of fact, I've seen some new fountains with the opening. This will also allow me to clean the filter periodically. After marking the opening, we used a masonry blade on a small grinder. Not being able to use a larger blade to cut all the way through, we actually had to make cuts with a small grinder and chisel the opening piece by piece. Not fun. It's amazing the old pump lasted over 10 years being enclosed in this tomb and never cleaned the filter once. So they, they are very good pumps. Once we got to the pump, we find out the wire going into the bottom of the pedestal going to the outlet was cemented. So I had no choice but to cut it so I can get this pump out and that means I had to reroute the new wire the only choice was to drill a hole on an angle from the bottom of the last tier here and get it as close as possible to the opening that we just cut out That also means I will have to cut the new plug wire from the new pump to be able to fit it in the 3 8 size hole that I just drilled. I will be using a waterproof connector to reconnect the two ends and make sure it's safe. I will do a separate video to show how to use these connectors. They are amazing. So after reconnecting the output hose to the pump that goes to the top of the fountain, I insert the cut wire end into the drilled hole going to the outside of the bottom tier. And as I mentioned earlier, I use this waterproof connector to join the other end with the plug, in which I would have had to do anyway because the new pump wire was too short to reach the plug. So I used the old pump wire to make it longer. After making sure that both ends of the connector are tight, I made sure the pump worked and then sealed the wire hole with this uh, construction adhesive and also use it to cover about three inches of the wire. And I used the powder from the grinding to cover the adhesive to match the fountain color. I just pressed it into the uh, adhesive before it dried. It worked out very well. After 24 hours of drying time, we plug it in and we have our fountain back. Now I'm looking for some kind of a stone or a brick that will cover the hole we cut out and it will look perfect. We can even leave it. I've seen the new ones like that. I hope this gives you an idea and helps someone out there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. And you all have a great day.